How do things work in practice in code law systems? I start with an odd question for you. Who causes traffic accidents? Is it drivers or cars? In the UK, we ordinarily say that drivers cause accidents. In France, however, it's the cars that cause accidents, at least for lawyers. The reason for this difference has to do with provisions of French law, and in particular, the French Civil Code. This example is taken from Martin Shapiro's book, Courts. Traffic accidents are part of an area of law called tort in common law systems or delict in code law systems. In delict, there are two important provisions in the French Civil Code. I'm going to give you my translation of these two articles, articles 1382 and 1384. 1382 says, any act committed by a person who causes damage to another shall render the person through whose fault the damage was caused liable to make reparation for it. 1384 says, individuals are responsible not just for the damage they do through their own acts, but also for the damage caused by individuals or objects for which they are responsible. French courts have held that Article 1382 requires a person who has suffered damage to prove that the other person was at fault. If the facts are unclear, the person who has suffered damage, or the plaintiff, well, they'll lose. Article 1384, by contrast, doesn't require anyone to demonstrate fault. You just need to demonstrate causation. Those are the two general principles. Now let's think about how they might apply to traffic accidents. If plaintiffs use Article 1382, they will have to prove that the other driver was at fault. This is a high standard. It means that relatively few people will be able to claim damages for traffic accidents. It also means that courts will be asked to determine factual issues of fault, a messy task which courts often don't like doing. If plaintiffs instead use Article 1384, they don't have to prove fault, making it much easier for them. The plaintiffs are much more likely to be successful. There is just one problem. If you want to use this Article 1384, you can't say, the other driver damaged me in my car. You have to say, the other car caused damage to me, and the other driver is responsible for that car. This sounds a little bit stupid. It sounds as though in France, drivers don't crash cars, cars crash themselves. But in a series of cases, the French courts ultimately decided that this was a better route than using Article 1382 for traffic accidents. This example shows how the judicial role in code law systems can sometimes be creative. It also shows how it's not enough to just read the provisions of the relevant legal code. You also have to understand how that code works in practice.